Margaret, what is an altered book? An altered book is taking a uh, book that has is going to be thrown away. It's lived its days in the library. Um, they have to be stitched because you're going to do a lot of stuff with them. And you make them into an art piece. Each page or one or two pages, you make it into an art piece. Each page... You could tell a story. I have one that's on children, so I've kind of told a little story about children. Oh, let's go a little slower on this yeah. one. This is cool. This one has nothing but what children might do. I'm a little hard to find what children would do way back because they would work more than play. So, Let me see this. Is this from Dick and Jane? Yes, that's a Dick and Jane. <laughs> So those. you can use, I take a lot of uh, books, older books that may have illustrations in them, and I copy them because I don't want to use the original. Sure. These are from magazines that I picked up. Uh, these, this is a cl classical artist that did this, and then I separate and make a little story about it. They're mostly collage. They're kind of an assemblage kind of art where you add different things, different texture, have a lot of dif different textures. They have little pockets that you can put little <laughs> things in. <laughs> Those are fun. And uh, I've taken and done some um, classic, well-known mm -hmm. artists and made them into something different. Let's see if the camera can pick that up. Isn't that cool? And you have pop-ups in these? And there's pop-ups in them. There's cards in them. Sometimes they stick. That's the humidity of Florida. Now the one here, I recognize this. This is Vincent's. Yeah, that's a Vincent Van Gogh. My uh, youngest daughter and I challenged each other in doing a famous artist piece. And so we, um, at least one or two pages. This was uh, supposed to be my idea of Picasso. <laughs> yes. That's cool. That's and there's cool. little pockets with different little, you can put little sayings on their cards. What fun little surprises. So it's a lot of, uh, I was making dots one day and I thought, well, I got all these black dots. I make some musical <laughs> notes with them. So oh. it's just however your imagination. Look what's it's, back here. It's what that's in um, here? These little pockets. <laughs> This one the key has to life. Uh, this one says life is, and it says look further, and you look through your book. Give me a little chance to look through the book. And this is a gal wanting some coffee, and this is just some pretty painting. And we got to look for something. Well, <gasps> let's see. We got a heart there. Let's see what's in this envelope. Another puzzle piece. And it says, life is a puzzle. <laughs> this is great. So and look it, at these techniques you've not only added to, but you've cut away. I've cut away. Uh, you glue a, a, a lot of pages together and then cut and make it a frame. Uh, this one has um, a frame also, which has a little seaside. Bring it more this way so the little, camera can capture it. A little seaside image to there it. There we go. Wander. And this has all kinds. I I try to make a story out of each one of them. So talk to me what you're doing at the Leesburg Center for the Arts on Thurs the first, the second Thursday of the month, and you're going to do this up until um, including May. Right. Um, it'll be. I'm going to go over a beginning. Um, I've had one class and they've kind of gotten started, but there's never, it's never too late for somebody to come in in the middle and show them how to begin this. I'm going to go through how to structure the book to make sure it's uh, sound enough to, to do this much manipulating with it and adding things to it. So it kind of go into some techniques. I kind of show you there's some I uh, things to... Uh, different recipes to make the texture that that's on some of these books. So you were this getting one, your secret recipes yes, I'm for give your you some, glue. Yes, and I oh. have to say it's not completely mine. I have to give other artists. We all use other artists' ideas, but you kind of make them your own. So 
I'm uh, some of it every bit of all the ideas are originally mine but some of the uh, some of the techniques and the recipes for things are things that have uh, that I've borrowed and used but the original part of the I you know these assemblage is all original I've not copied anything other than maybe how to glue this together or how to make this window. So those are all things that I'll teach you how to do. Uh, I love it. It's so whimsical. Yeah, this one, I just saw this uh, sunflower and I thought, oh, what? How cute that would be a pop-up. And it's just different. You kind of, once you get into it, you start looking at magazines and, and books and you think, oh, what can I do with him? And that's an open-ended question. It is. Oh, that's true. <laughs> well, Margaret, you're going to be doing this on February 14th, which is Valentine's Day. Yes. And your class starts at 11.30. 11.30. goes till 1. And it's cash to the instructor of $10. And people need to bring some supplies so they can go online and look through the see what they need, need. to bring.